Today, I've got something truly shocking and downright disturbing for you. We're diving into the grim world of cruel punishments from the 1900s around the globe. Buckle up, because this ride ain't for the faint-hearted. Let's start with Russia, shall we? In the early 1900s, the Tsarist regime implemented a punishment known as Naut. The Naut was a heavy whip with multiple leather thongs, sometimes even embedded with metal. Victims were tied to a post and flogged mercilessly. The number of lashes often exceeded a hundred, and many didn't survive the ordeal. Just imagine the sheer brutality. Now let's hop over to China. During the Qing Dynasty, a punishment called Ling Qi, or death by a thousand cuts, was used. It was as horrifying as it sounds. The condemned were slowly dismembered piece by piece until they bled to death. This method was intended to maximize suffering and serve as a grim warning to others. It's a chilling reminder of the lengths humans can go to inflict pain. Meanwhile, in the United States, chain gangs were a common form of punishment, especially in the southern states. Prisoners were shackled together and made to perform grueling physical labor, often in unbearable conditions. These chain gangs were used up until the mid-20th century and were marked by harsh treatment and inhumane working environments. This was not just about punishment, but also about exploitation. In Britain, we had the infamous practice of birching. Convicted individuals, especially young offenders, were beaten with birch rods. The punishment was delivered in a public or semi-public setting, adding humiliation to the physical pain. It was believed to be a deterrent, but it was nothing short of barbaric. Down in Australia, the punishment of solitary confinement was pushed to extreme lengths. Known as the silent system, prisoners were kept in complete isolation, forbidden to speak or even make eye contact with anyone. The mental anguish caused by this isolation often led to madness. It's a stark contrast to the sunlit beaches we associate with Australia today. And in the Ottoman Empire, a particularly ruthless punishment called impalement was used. Victims were skewered on a long stake and left to die a slow and excruciating death. This method was not only a form of execution, but also a terrifying spectacle to dissuade others from committing crimes. These punishments weren't just about justice or keeping order. They were designed to instill fear, to break spirits, and to maintain control through terror. It's a dark chapter of human history, but one we must remember to understand how far we've come or how far we still need to go. Thanks for sticking with me through this grim journey. If you're fascinated by dark history like this, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Until next time, take care, y'all.